Welcome to Optimized, and in today's video, I will show you how to use our new tool to create a direct link to your Google reviews. Hey, I hope you're doing well. My name is Ryan Shimana. This is me right here. I am the founder of Optimized, and I will be showing you this video tutorial today. So this is a pretty cool new tool. If you have ever tried to create a direct Google review link yourself, um, you probably realize that you have to jump through some hoops. So I had my computer scientist hop on this and just create a tool to make it super easy for anyone to create a direct Google review link for their business. And this is how you use it. You go to optimize design <laughs> optimize dot design uh, because we don't have the dot com thing going on and it's going to be free Google review link generator with the dashes in between so that's the slug the links in the description and we'll also add this to the menu up here but we have not got to that point yet as we still are building this page out and creating this video but I'll be using my buddy at uh, swing this kettlebell in fitness as an example to show you exactly how this works so all you need to do is I will type in his business name, swing this kettlebell and fitness. When it pops up, you just select it from the list and then your direct Google review link is right here. All you need to do is copy that control C and I'll hop over to this screen where I already have it popped up. When someone types that into this toolbar or you have a link that is pointed to this domain, this is what pops up and this is why it is so powerful there is no friction with the people trying to leave your review you you give them this link they click the link and bam they are there no more oh you gotta pull up our knowledge panel and then go to maps and you know it's, it's just crazy so this takes the friction out and i think you'll find it very valuable and if you've ever tried to do this without a tool like this you may have been in over your head I, I know i figured it out after um a couple attempts but this tool makes it super duper easy to do it just like that and if you'd like to stick around i will share with you how i feel you can best use this so if we go back to the other screen here so there it is that it's a super simple simple easy to use kind of showing you exactly what's going to happen that's me saying hey here's your google review link Dun, 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 dun. and then right here so this video will be going right here as I'm shooting it right now it is not there yet but the four best ways to use a, a direct Google review link in your email signature email or SMS review fetching campaigns on your website and on social media so I'm gonna show you how to do it in the email signature and then I will kind of walk through how you do this on these other platforms but you'll get the gist of it seeing me do it here. So let's hop back over to our other screen where I have my email signature section pulled up in my email. I use Zoho. I highly recommend them for a free custom email if you need one. Zoho.com. So that's that. And here we go. So I just created this email signature, which I greatly needed to do, as here is my old one, which was just terrible. So I uh, just formatted this out, made my name bold, made the text a little bigger, stuff like that. And if you notice that since these are links, these came in as links, I want to get the phone number as a link too. So if we click on this and we go to our link, it shows you uh, we're on optimized design. I want it to be on this one. So mail to colon Ryan at getoptimizednow.com. So mail to is the prefix that you use to link to an email. And to do this for a phone, we are gonna highlight the phone, come up to our hyperlink, uh, insert link thing, and we're gonna say tell, and then the phone number. So to link to a phone number, it's tell. To link to an email, it's mail to, and then the colon. So that's that, okay, and now that's a link. And now what we need to do here is I added a PS. Uh, PS's get read a lot. So if you're not using PS's, maybe you should consider it. I want to add a little space right there. Probably want to add another little space right here to space that out a little bit. And yeah, 
so that's looking good okay and we'll get to the point which leave a direct link so the direct link right here to make it quick and easy so they can just click and end up on that screen right from your email link I need to grab my link right here boom so that is my link okay and now this will link to optimize this Google review when you generate yours and insert yours it'll link to your Google review and that is how you do it save that and then I'll start using that email signature on my emails and watch my reviews just naturally organically go up so I did want to show just how quick and easy that is if you come to right here I did have a review wrote out for Joe at swing this kettlebell so I'll just grab that I'll copy and paste it in and voila boom spell everything right okay so that is how you do that and then post that so that's how easy it is to to get somebody to leave your review when you make it that easy it's literally that easy so to do it in the email or sms fetching campaign this would just be you're going to insert that link in an email campaign and shoot it out to all your clients hopefully using a service like mailchimp or aweber or something like that get response etc etc um but if you just send out a dedicated hey we're trying to get reviews if you ask for reviews you tend to get them more so i highly recommend just simply asking for reviews and then you can put this on your website so if you have a section of your website that you know that people that are currently using your service will be visiting a lot that would be a good place to to leave it you can use it leave it by your contact page uh contact forms if you want um stuff like that on your reviews page have a link for other people to leave your review and then on social media if you just you know put that link into a facebook post you can put it in your instagram uh, little description thing you get on instagram if you're doing youtube you could link it in your youtube descriptions so there's all types of uses for this but I have found over the years running my businesses if you ask for reviews you are so much more likely to get them people simply don't think about this kind of stuff especially people that don't own businesses they're not thinking about they you know they just don't know how important reviews are to especially small and local businesses and with how much people are shopping online it's a great way to gain credibility so I highly recommend you take advantage of this tool we're happy to provide it to you for absolutely free I have not wrote this blog post but by the time this video goes up the blog post will be wrote out and you can click here and view the whole blog post it'll be in our blog section on optimize.design and this basically is just the our blog here is just teaching you how to take advantage of the internet if you are not in a position to pay a professional company or you just don't know how or whatever the reason is we're here to help we we'd love to help you but if uh if you insist on doing it yourself we are trying to put out as much content as possible in layman's terms to make sure the average business owner can do all this stuff on their own if they would prefer but that is all for this video thank you so much for tuning in if you did like the video please remember to like and subscribe it would mean so much if you have a comment please leave your comment and i will get back with you just as fast as i possibly can but until the next video take her easy